and many thanks for joining us on AM24 News this hour. My name is Oluwa Kwelumi Fashogbo, and here are the top stories we're covering at this moment. Few kills return to Lagos Ogun, others amid pipeline vandalism. Police crash Delta Gate wedding arrest 67. On the foreign scene, Gabon military cancels election takes over power. On entertainment, Portable announces U.S. music tour. We'll bring you details of the story after the short break. Long queues for fuels have resurfaced in Lagos and Nogun State, as well as some other parts of the Southwest, as thieves have targeted oil pipelines, causing supply disruptions. While the North remains largely unaffected, fuel depots in Lagos are experiencing shortages, leading to the emergency of queues at filling stations. Queues sightings have been prevalent at various stations, notable along Osho the Ojodu Bega Expressway and sections of Lagos Ibado Expressway. These queues have caused congestions on the road, hindering traffic flow. The Northwest filling station reported the longest queue offering petrol at 568 naira per liter. In contrast, others such as Etana, NMPCL, Total Energies and Mobi had shorter lines with prices ranging from 568 naira to 570 naira per liter. Conversely, Corn Oil, Enyo and Orlando stations in Lagos State had no fuel to dispense. A significant contributing factor to the fuel shortage is pipeline vandalism, which has been a reoccurring issue. The Independent Petroleum Marketers Association of Nigeria, IPAN, officially reported that their satellite depot had not received any product shipment in the past three weeks due to the pipeline vandalism. This situation has the potential to impact not only Lagos but also broader southwest region. Men of the Delta State Police Command have arrested at least 67 suspects during a gay wedding ceremony in the state. The suspects were arrested by the police officer from Akwan Division in Uvi local government area of Delta State at Tiblos Hotel Refinery Road, Akwan. This was made known by the Delta State Police Command spokesperson, DSP Bright Edefi, who said the incident started to unravel when policemen intercepted a male cross-dresser who claimed to be an actor. Edafe said upon interrogation, Edafe said upon interrogation, the suspect confessed that he was a member of a certain gay club and that he was on his way to join the fellow members for a gay marriage ceremony. The police, the police were said to have stormed the venue of the same-sex wedding where some suspected gay members were arrested. On the foreign scene, senior military officers in Gabon have cancelled the election results of the country while also announcing the schism of power. In a televised address, the senior officers dissolved state institutions and closed all borders until further notice. According to the report, gunfire could be heard in the capital city, Libreville, as tensions escalated following the officers' announcement. Speaking on behalf of the Gabonese people, the officers expressed their determination to safeguard peace by bringing an end to the current regime. They claimed to represent all Gabon security and defense forces, asserting their authorities over the nation. Talking entertainment, Nigerian musician Abib Okikiola, popularly known as Portable, is set to embark on a musical tour in the United States of America. Boldly declaring himself as the new born fella Anikulakbo, the street hip-hop artist announced his upcoming international tour on his Instagram handle releasing the full shadow. According to the shared flyer, Portable plans to cover 10 cities in the United States from September 2023 to March 2024. And now on sports, Arsenal Football Club are said to have had a discussion with Nigerian Napoli striker Victor Sime last week as a part of preparations to sign him next summer. This was revealed by a popular sport website, Football Transfer, on Tuesday. In an exclusive report published on its website, Football Transfers revealed that Arsenal sports director Edu Gaspar 
reached out to the Serie A club owner Aurelio De Laurentiis to inquire about availability of Osime. We are informed that the Arsenal Sports Director Ed Gaspar contacted the owner of the Serie A club Aurelio De Laurentiis to ask about the availability of the player having been given encouragement by the 24-year-old agent Roberto Calenda. It added that Arsenal hoped to bring in the Nigerian player in 2024. And that's the news at this hour. Do follow us on all of our social media platforms for more updates. I am Oluwakwe Lumi Fashable.